I don't usually cover meme coins in this channel, but I had no choice. I have to include this one. This is a special one. This is WIF, W-I-F, a meme from the Solana blockchain, who has had quite an amazing start. 60, no, 56% in the last week, 142% in the last month. Nothing but up since the beginning on the daily chart. We got rejected at $3, now we're correcting. So I'm expecting sideways action between $280 and $3 for the next few days maybe, and a breakout above $3 eventually. Let's see if it happens. Why am I adding a meme coin video on my disruptive assets? It's because they are disruptive. The returns on meme coins have been spectacular so far at the beginning of this bull run. Many people disregard this section of crypto. I think it's a mistake not to have some of them. Select the fast ones, the ones that you think that have more potential, a big community, big support, a nice narrative, quite a bit of volume, price action, things like that. You need to look into it. Memes are very, very powerful in the bull run. Obviously, you do not keep them or potentially you can get rid of them at the top of the market and look for the new and fast ones for the next cycle. That's usually the thing that you need to do. But every single cycle has had key meme coins to have and include in your portfolio. I am slowly building up my position in WIF. I have bought a few times already. I do little increments until I have the size of the position that I want or that I target, and then I let it run. I plan to keep these memes for the next year and a half or two years. I think I mentioned this in previous videos, but if not, just a quick recall. On each bull run, Bitcoin pulls everything up. Bad coin, great coin, meme coin, NFTs, everything goes up. That's what Bitcoin does. Eventually, if we ever get a top, many people think we, we're going to have a top and a correction afterwards, a bear market. Others think we're not going to do that because there's going to be continuous buying by ETFs. If we follow history, there's always a top, there's always a correction, there's always a bear market, and then eventually the next cycle starts a year before the halving, the next halving. So we'll see what pans out. So for me, I'm keeping this asset for the next two years, year and a half. Why? Because Bitcoin will top. And in this case, I think it's going to be the two biggest assets, even three, meaning Bitcoin, Solana, and Ethereum are the big three coins for 2024, in my opinion. So all the profits from Bitcoin will move to Solana, Ethereum, and a bunch of altcoins. But that also include meme coins. So depending on the market cap of each asset, a small amount of money that comes in will push the price even higher. And for sure, the market caps of some of these memes are going to be way lower than the market caps of Solana, Ethereum, and, and principally Bitcoin. Therefore, there's going to be a big push in price for this asset. So that's what we call altcoin season. And that's what I'm expecting. And after that altcoin season, there's going to be a possibility that I sell 75, 80, 85, or 90% of my positions in those memes just to cover myself or get rid completely out of the position and then wait until we have a big correction if we get a bear market to accumulate the fast one, the, f the future fast meme coins to have for the next cycle. That's how it works. That's what I'm planning. But if we never get a big correction for Bitcoin, all coins will continue to go higher. We may have the corrections here and there, that's for sure. But are we going to have a 
uptrend for Bitcoin and a bear market for altcoins, that I would, I would be highly surprised if that happens. So let's see. We have a year and a half, two years in front of us, but I'm building my positions here because I think meme coins will give great returns and whiff is one of them the other meme that i'm following is milady meme coin those are the two main ones that i think are going to explode in this bull run so keep an eye on them not financial advice others will be included in my portfolio also i'll try to cover them here in the channel watch out for future videos so keep watching keep putting comments liking the videos if you really enjoy them i hope you learn something i hope you it helps you select your fast horses for 2024 and 2025 see you all on the next video